Today I'm bringing you a grocery haul and a little bit of a video on a meal plan for both us and the dogs. Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today I am doing a shopping haul. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna do a meal plan, a gas check, gas price check for you, at least in my area. And a not only is this a meal plan for us, but it's also for our two little dogs. So we have, um, we have two um, rescues, Jack Russell Chihuahua mix, more Jack Russell kind of thing going on. But regardless, we love them dearly and uh, want them to live a very long life with us. So that's, I've got upcoming videos if you're interested, but their meal plan is going to be um, also um, out of this grocery haul for next week. I've already done this week's dog food and we're good to go. So I'm making homemade dog food. If you want to see any of those, they're vet approved recipes. It's, it's pretty simple to do and you can save yourself a lot of money. So um, the money factor isn't why we're doing it. It's more that I feel like um, processed food isn't good for us. It's certainly not good for our animals. So I'm trying to get away from it as much as possible. Okay, that being said, here we go. Uh, I have got um, started off, I needed some, I needed a couple fresh things that I did not grow in the garden. Mushrooms, I always have to have mushrooms on hand. I use them in salads, I use them sauteed with steak. I use them on our pizzas, sliced thin on our pizza, it's so good. Um, in our soups, all kinds of stuff. So I bought mushrooms, they were uh, $3.98 a pound for white button mushrooms. I'm I'm happy with those. Cremini mushrooms are a dollar more a pound and I'm like, I don't see a difference once I cook them. So I'm good with that. I also bought some tomatillos. I'm not sure if I can find it real quick, how much that costs. Um, maybe, maybe not. Tomatillos, tomatillos. I think it should be at the end, but maybe not. It's hard to find things on these receipts. So beets are there. Okay, let's go to the beets. I bought beets. I have beets in the garden, but some of them aren't ready yet. Um, I picked some and <laughs> I, I did a, an experiment with them and I, I'm very sorry that I did. Oh, I, we love roasted beets. So I will roast these off. We'll have them on our salads and as side dishes for the week. And this, um, they're $1.28 a pound. So I got just under two pounds. It was 2.42 for, uh, 2.42 was the beet price, which is not bad, I suppose. I got garlic, two bulbs of garlic, and that was $1.36. Uh, shallots were uh, 94 cents for two nice big shallots. Not too bad. Those are, shallots are how much a pound? That doesn't tell me. Oh, no, it doesn't tell me. That's weird. Oh, well. And then tomatillos. Uh, I bought tomatillos because I'm going to be making a uh, green salsa verde. Um, so if you want to see a video on how I make that, it's got tons of garlic. It's got jalapenos out of the garden. It is delicious. And I might throw in some hatch chilies that are in the freezer. I need to use them anyway. So um, we'll get that going. Be sure and let me know if you want to see that. And uh, I got some smoked ham for sandwiches. This is $1.98 for this package, um, for a nine ounce package. So I thought that was a good bargain. I also got some salad shrimp. Uh, these, this package was $4.33 for fresh salad shrimp. I got a package of beef turkey for lunches, snacks, you know. I think that was... Uh, don't I don't remember exactly and I got some craft singles you keep those on hand at all times I, I've got another loaf of fresh French bread so this is going to be for that mufalata sandwich now I made it and we love it so much 
that I'm going to make it and then I cut our sandwiches and they're ready to go. They're wrapped tight. They're ready to go for the week. So the secret is you use fresh French bread. So if you want to see a video on that, we'll do a video. Um, I, or I needed to re-up on salami. Now, I, I put it together with fresh salami or deli salami instead of dried salami. I like dried salami better. The flavor is a little more intense. And so that's what we're going to have this time. I also got four donuts, which uh, that's uh, my husband's guilty pleasure. No problem. Uh, some sliced provolone cheese. These are $2.98. Um, a sour cream. Um, that, that's $2.09 at Winco. A cantaloupe. These were by the pound, so I think I figured this one cost me almost three dollars. And so then some cleaning supplies, you know, uh, laundry soap, tidy bowl, drop-in, some Lysol spray, half a gallon of milk. We got sweet potatoes, spinach, and beef liver. Now, well, I'm not going to eat liver, <laughs> but. Uh, this was four eighty eight, dollars and there's four, I think there's four packages. They're pre-sliced, they're individually wrapped, you take them in the freezer. This is for the dog's food. So the dogs are going to get one of those chopped up real fine in with their ground chicken. Um, you'll see if you want to watch a recipe. And the spinach and arugula is for our salads, and I also for the dogs got a couple sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are delicious, um, and some lentils um, for the carbohydrate part. You can use brown rice, white rice, lentils. Um, that's what they're going to get next week. So, package it, cracker jacks, a little nostalgic treat. I feel like <laughs> it doesn't look like this should be $75. It looks like it should be about $35 to me, but that's what we got. And, um, I'm gonna to get to making some really good things this week. We are actually having sea bass tonight for dinner. I'll get us a, a garden salad, um, maybe some stuffed zucchini blossoms. I did pick some. And uh, if you wanna see how the garden's doing too, you should let me know because it's popping. It's coming along so nice. And I'm super excited on all the stuff that we're getting out of there. We picked our first cucumber yesterday. Um, we picked green beans. Oh, that's what we'll have as a side dish tonight. Green beans because yeah, everybody's got to have green beans. Okay. I hope that gas prices are decent for you and that you've got some idea of what kind of meal plan you're going to do for the week. Um, it helps save you money. You don't go and try to get takeout or do something that's unhealthy. Um, it's just better to have everything home cooked and as close to from scratch as you possibly can and as fresh as possible. So, like I said, if you want to see videos on the dog's food, this week I did ground chicken, ground beef, uh, pumpkin. Um, what else did they have in there? A little bit of Swiss chard. Uh, you can do spinach too, but um, I had Swiss chard out in the garden. So, um, rosemary and thyme and... Uh, what else did I put in there? Peas and carrots and green beans. And I'm trying to think. Of the, oh, and beef liver, but it was freeze dried liver. So um, I added that in there because the organ meat's pretty important for them. So, anyway, all right, guys, I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe. Everyone's going to love whatever you create out of your grocery haul. And this, even though this doesn't look like much, we're going to have some really good stuff out of it. So we'll enjoy every bit of it. All right. Bye.